All right, guys, so we're now in the 3D modeling section of this project. Uh, this is the case for the LC meter, and uh, I'm using Google SketchUp. Uh, as you can see, the case is built out of multiple parts, and I'm going to switch to an exploded view in a moment and show you how it all comes together. You can see here that I'm not only modeling the 3D printed parts, but I also have a model of the PCB and basically all the parts which are going to be visible or affect the model in some way. Uh, for example, when I have parts which need to have cutouts or holes, I'm drawing the actual parts too. And it helps a lot with the modeling process. It makes it easier not only to visualize the whole thing, but also to center uh, and choose the right dimensions and proportions for the part uh, which will be 3D printed. I'm using PLA to print all the parts, three different colors, uh, white, red, and a translucent, transparent filament. Uh, this is the bottom side of the case, and I'm going to start assembling everything as I speak. Here we have this cutout for the power switch, which is this one here. And then I have these two parts here. The switch is placed between them. and then everything goes here. Uh, you may notice that I have a small offset between the parts, otherwise the parts won't fit together. Uh, and from experience, this offset is proportional with the quality of the printing. Uh, if I'm printing in higher quality, this offset can be smaller. Currently we're at uh, 0.25 millimeter clearance or the distance between these parts. Uh, the PCB sits in here and I use uh, sheet metal screws, oval head, uh, 1.7 millimeter in diameter, 14 millimeter long to hold the PCB in place. Uh, let me turn on transparency and you can see how everything is perfectly centered as, as it should be. Uh, I took the coordinates of these parts from the PCB's layout and this is how I make sure that all the holes or cutouts are exactly where they should be. Uh, these parts are super precisely modeled uh, and I have a folder where I save them and I can reuse them uh, whenever I need. I'm using a 9 volt battery and it sits here. And this part allows access to the battery and it's held in place by these two screws. Now for the push buttons, I have these caps here, uh, they're made out of two parts. This part sits directly on the button and this one will fit right in and the vertical movement of this is limited to 0.5 millimeter, I think, which is exactly what I need to press the button. And then I have these transparent small parts here, uh, which are guiding the light from the LEDs to the top of the case. And then we have the middle part of the case. And this geometry here holds the LCD in place. So I don't have to use any extra screws for that. And we also have the measuring connectors. Uh, these are 2 millimeter feathered receptacles and then there's the top side of the case. Uh, this thing is 125 millimeter long, 60 millimeter wide and 32.5 millimeter high.
Thank you.